Hey you guys, today I've got an arena review video for you. Feral will be receiving some changes soon, but if you want to check out my PvP guide, the most current one is in the description. When Season 1 starts, you're going to have to come to my channel. I will have a new, updated, and fresh guide ready for y'all to rock it. So in these matches, I will call out mistakes made and some of the more proper PvP combat. The reason why I record my matches and I do so many skirmishes is because I want to dial in exactly what I'm doing and these are some of the early matches that I've recorded. So I'm going to be doing a few things that I need to do better in the future. There's, an, there's going to be some things that some people out there, you guys watching, also do. And maybe you can learn from me. And uh, I'm just going to try to showcase everything I can and explain it to you the best way possible. I hope you enjoy. Here's the first one. Alright, so this is a 2v2 match. We have Double Feral against an Arms Warrior and a Retribution Paladin. First off, a mistake the other Feral made was he opened up on the warrior while he was blade storming. I don't believe he got him out of stealth. He could have walked away and taken a second for that to fall off. And then of course, here I am doing the same thing, coming in, timing it wrong while he's still doing blade storm. And another mistake I made is that I didn't notice that he had died by the sword on. So he was parrying me left and right. And of course, I ripped up the paladin once I noticed that he had died by the sword on. And then after the die by the sword fell off, I went and bit him. And then eventually I go and throw a rip on him, which does a lot of damage. But you see here the mix up of the timing, missing the blade storm, and then the die by the sword really threw me off. And that's where situational awareness comes in handy. And you notice I'm not going in and out of bear form here. There might have been chances where I could do so. I'm not taking a lot of damage though, but with free form, using a mangle to go straight into bear, or a rake from bear to go right back into cat, can be a good tactic to use, and I'm not used to it yet, but it's something I'm going to be working on. So here we are, the other feral died, the paladin has my rip up, and the warrior has full bleeds on him. I don't have adaptive swarm to throw on, but I do turn and make a bite on the warrior, finalizing that kill, leaving me with just the paladin. I will say one parting gift the other feral left is that this paladin is fully bled and my adaptive swarm did find its way onto the paladin. I have a blood talons rip on there and the damage is just going to tick away. At this point I opted to use my survival instincts and bark skin. It might have been overkill and it might have been worth saving them just in case this paladin were to pull it off and survive this. But we have full bleeds ticking, he's dying very quick and I do trinket his full stun and then I go after him right here so overall was it a great fight not exactly it was good it worked out in our situation there were mistakes made by me and the other feral in the future these have to be corrected especially in rated pvp but that is why we practice without practice we can't grow we can't climb the ladder and we can't be great so keep on hitting it let's go to the next one Alright, in this next match, it's me and an Unholy DK versus an Arms Warrior and a Boomkin. You can see here my placement for the leap is not great. I'm right there, I'm gonna get hit, luckily I don't, so I'm able to make a proper opening. I think that leap sketched me out, so I deviate a little bit from the standard opener. I use a Rake, Moonfire, Berserk, Feral Frenzy, and then I go in with a Rip, Shred, Ferocious Bite, Adaptive Swarm, and some Boom Fires for another bite. Do a lot of good damage there. Jump to the Boomkin, stun him, but he gets out. Rake him up. At this point, the Warrior's died. He's died of Bleeds, and he's died from the Death Knight. Just so much cleave, so much damage, it's insane. I get full Bleeds on this Boomkin, Adaptive Swarm him up. We're chasing him down. I'm in bear form. I'm trying to survive the best I can. Moon firing, damaging, damaging, 1.2, bite. It's crazy out here. All right, so for the final match of this video, we have a double feral versus a shadow priest and a frost mage. I do have an amazing opener on this priest. Y'all have to check it out. All right, so I Tiger's Fury and Stealth, open up with the rake, feral frenzy, berserk, Adapt to Swarm, Moonfire, Rip, Shred. He does Disperse here, so I go away. I rake up the Mage, but then I come right back, do some nasty, ferocious bites, Stampeding Roar all the way over to this Mage. He Ice Blocks. He Ice Blocks. So we're kind of stuck here going back and forth. 
This one I don't really have to pause that much because this damage that I put on the Shadow Priest is just insane. Like I said, the talents will be changing when Season 1 comes out. They need they did make some changes to uh, Saber Jaws, Ferocious Bite in general. But there's tons of damage here. We take down the mage and it's awesome. If you guys enjoy this content, subscribe, leave a like, comment, let me know what you think. I do plan on doing arena reviews, hopefully once a week. That would be the plan. They do take a bit of time to edit, voiceover, and review. But I do like reviewing my arena matches anyway. So when I see something that you guys can learn from, or something that I find is unique, I will share it for you guys. And uh, I do go live here on YouTube as well, so that's another reason to subscribe. I hope you have a good time in the war within, and I'll see you next time.